I have the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra right here. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to downgrade this smartphone, the Galaxy S21 and the Galaxy S21 Plus from Android 12 down to Android 11. Now, I know many of you have been running the latest update for a few weeks now and have left comments talking about the various bugs and performance issues that you've experienced. Now, these do not seem to be widespread issues, but instead seem to be rare instances of leftover code that ends up causing these random bugs. If you're someone who has not been happy with the Android 12 update for your Galaxy S21 smartphone, then I highly recommend doing a factory data reset before going through this downgrade process. Now with that said, I know there are going to be some people who, with very specific reasons as to why they do not like the Android 12 update. So I want to provide you all with the process you can use to downgrade from One UI 4 based on Android 12 down to One UI 3 based on Android 11. You do not need an unlocked bootloader since we are just flashing the official firmware images with a program called Odin. But it will force a reset on your Galaxy S21 Plus smartphone. So back up as much of your data as possible before proceeding with this tutorial. The first thing that we need to do is download some required items. If you do not have the Odin program on your PC yet, check the video description below as I'll be including a download link for the version of Odin that I'm currently using. You're also going to need to download the Android 11 firmware for your specific device. I used a website called samfw.com to download these firmware files, but there are many tools out there that you can use. Just make sure that you trust the source. Now sadly, we will not be able to perform this downgrade forever. Eventually, Samsung will increase the BIT or binary value and that will prevent us from going back to Android 11. You see we have a number of firmware files that we can choose from on this website. From Android 12 to Android 11, we're going to download downgrade to the latest version of Android 11. And since the BIT number matches, we are able to downgrade. So if you're interested in downgrading to Android 11, then you will want to do this before this value changes from 3 to 4 and then you install that firmware. Once these files have been downloaded, extract them to your PC and go ahead and open up the Odin program. We will also need to boot the Galaxy S21 Ultra into download mode. And if again, if you're not familiar with how to do this, I'll be including a link to a tutorial in the video description below that will walk you through the step-by-step -step process for booting the Galaxy S21 series into download mode. As mentioned, I now have Odin open. I have the Galaxy S21 in download mode and connected to the PC. When that happens, you want to make sure that you see one of these slots filled with the COM and that a device has been added. That means that you know Odin has, can recognize your device because you have the proper USB drivers installed. So here is the firmware that I downloaded. This is the Android 11 firmware that I downloaded. When I extract that to a folder right here, we are given these files. It's these files that we're going to be loading into Odin. So let's go ahead and go in Odin. We're going to click on the BL button right here. Browse to where that firmware directory is. Look for the file that begins with BL and select that file. We're gonna go ahead and click the CP button. 
And again, we're going to choose the file that begins with CP. We're going to do the same with the CSC button. We're going to choose this first CSC button or CSC file, not the home CSC. We need to do the regular CSC since we need to do a factory reset. And I usually leave the AP section for last since it takes a lot of time to load into Odin. So once I know the other three files are loaded in properly, we click on the AP file, browse to and find the AP, the file that begins with AP. You can see that is the larger one here, the seven gig one. So it makes sense that whenever we load that file into Odin, it takes some time you can even see the application go not responding for a little bit because the program is working to unpack that seven gigabyte file. We're just gonna be patient here and we're gonna wait for that AP file to load into Odin correctly. You can see it is going to take some time. Just be patient. And you can see it will eventually load into Odin properly. So with that done, with our four files loaded in, remember our Galaxy S21 Plus is in download mode. It's connected to the PC with a USB cable and Odin recognizes it. With all of that set up, we're just gonna click Start to begin the downgrade process. Odin is going to begin flashing these individual files. And then you're gonna see it get to the super image. And again, this is a big file, so it's gonna take a lot longer than these smaller files take. We're just gonna be patient, and we're gonna wait for Odin to finish working. No need to touch the phone or the cable. Make sure that those maintain a stable connection while we let Odin work. You can see it moving over to the next image file and it will complete this process as it goes through the entire firmware. Now, unless you went through the options and unchecked the auto reboot option, once it finishes, it should restart on its own. And what we're waiting for, we're gonna wait for this to show a green pass message. Once we see that pass message, the phone will reboot and it will boot into Android 11 again for the first time. So the goal here is to click start to begin Odin, wait for Odin to flash all of those firmware files and look for the green pass message that you see right here. Once that happened, our Galaxy S21 Ultra rebooted and we're going to boot back into Android. Remember, since we did reset our phone here doing the downgrade, our first boot back into Android is going to take a little bit longer than normal. And that is to be expected. We're just going to wait through this boot process. and then go through the Android activation phase. So 
I'm just going to skip on through this really quickly. Just so that I can bring you over to the About page. So now you can see we are back on Android 11 based on One UI 3.1. That is the entire process from start to finish on how to downgrade the Samsung Galaxy S21 from Android 12 to Android 11. And now that you are booted back into Android, you can go through the restore process, bring back the data that you backed up, and continue using Android like you're used to.